the cosmos, a universe of good and evil, where a small group struggles to bring freedom to the countless worlds of despair. A ragtag band led by the infamous Captain Eel. This planet doesn't look so dangerous, ID. Is this it, Odie? We'll see. Oh. We better find that landing beacon. Hey, Hooter, we're almost there. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't get too close or you'll trip their intrusion alarm. Yeah, don't go at you guys. Relax, there's no problem. No problem. Intrusion alarm! Battle alert! Battle alert! Don't panic. That's what got us into trouble the last time. What? It wasn't our fault, Nesco. It was Hooter's fault. Pride was Hooter's fault. Oh! Oh, oh Hooter! Straighten up, man. It's the captain. Good morning, it looks like we tripped their intrusion alarm, sir. Addy and Odie flew it. They got too close. We're going in. Sir, the ship is in absolutely no condition to go into battle. But I thought we'd begin by cleaning up Hooter's bunk. Rust fucking Hooter! Listen, the command considers us a bunch of losers. But we're gonna do it right this time because we're the best. If we don't, we'll be drummed out of the core. We won't let you down this time, We're sir. We're going to do it right. That's right. We'll be perfect, sir. By the book. <laughs> okay. I've told you the story of of Francis when I, I we were going to, he was going to direct Captain Eel. And for some reason, I I don't know, I got a visual effects supervisor on the film. And... I felt really unqualified because I'd never really worked with 3D, two cameras. And, and so I thought, well, it's better just to lay it out there. For Francis, I went to his office and I, I said, Francis, I, I'm not sure I'm the right guy for the job. I've never worked with 3D before. He goes, neither have I. What the hell? We'll take it. Yeah. That's the response you want in a moment like that, right? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out yeah, together. Well, it, he took responsibility. Right. And it's like, you know, stop being so introspective. Let's just, it's just a film with Michael Jackson and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Turned out pretty good. Well, that's the approach you want, right? Look, it's there to be figured out. We'll figure it out. You can always, I mean, that... I tell people all the time, and this is the way it was when I was at Warner Brothers, you want to weed it out as quick as possible between the can-dos and the can'ts and where yeah. their psychology is on the chart. And basically, those who think they can't do it, you really want them to stand up and exit stage right. And those who are thinking like, I probably can figure it out. Like, I love Coppola's story about when Roger Corman called him and said, do you know how to run sound? Where I need a sound guy for one of those racing movies or Monte Carlo or something. And Coppola's like, of course I know how to run sound. And so he's like, good, you start Monday, no pay, but you'll get the experience. And Coppola's like, great, I'll see you Monday. Hangs up, immediately walks to his closet and pulls out all this boxed up sound equipment that he bought and started reading the instructions on how to, on how to turn it on. And that's what you do. You figure it out. Well, and those are the people you want. You've got to, yeah, you've got to have faith that you're, you're not always going to succeed, but you gave it a shot. And, uh, yeah. Everybody, everybody has that that sense of oh god. Look, if hard. you're waiting, if you're waiting for the moment when you're ready for a task or a creative job, then good luck on having those two worlds collide in a fashion that suits you. It's very rare. You got to be ready to go or be able to bridge the gap with your knowledge and your skills and the ability to learn it, because you're not going to be ready, and no one's going to wait for you to get ready. It's like this thing's coming around. Do you want to get on Captain EO or not? And the answer is yeah. Opportunity We're doing it. only walks, knocks once. Mm -hmm. You don't just go open the door and go. And you come back later, I'm not quite prepared. No, that doesn't fly. And here's the thing. That answer also checks you out of a lot of potential jobs down the road because that attitude, unfortunately, 
the justice system in the film industry being what it is, that attitude's not appreciated by a lot of people at the top. If you're not willing to figure it out now, don't come back in a year and say you got it. It's like you, you, we need someone who's forward thinking, who can reason it out, do what it has to do, what one has to do. And look, Coppola's attitude was right. We're gonna George Lucas is on this, and so are all his guys. We will figure it out. And if not, you know, we'll find another way to do it. We've got Michael Jackson. And it's funny how fast they ripped Captain EO out of there when the allegations came down. And then how fast they put it back in after he died, yeah, right? Shameless. Um, totally shameless. I don't even get me started about that stuff. <laughs> but you also got John sick. Houston's kid. John Houston's kid's yeah. in it, right? Yeah. Angelica, right? So who oh, wouldn't want to be on that project? Amazing. I mean, hanging from wires with all that makeup and just... Right. Like, you know, it was painful. But I didn't couldn't do it oh but you can brother listen my philosophy is like buckle up let's figure it out the only way through it is forward yeah yeah that's it yeah it's you know it's only a movie your road to redemption is paved with tombstones no quarter kill all masters Go to no quarter, killallmasters.com. Read it all.